Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Do you know when you get that feeling uh, when you're like, yeah, my deck for this is pretty good, I will probably do well here. That's exactly the feeling I have for the French Renaissance event, but also, uh, do you know when you get that feeling, I, I think I'm gonna do well, but I probably won't? <laughs> I don't know, right? I am uncertain, but we are going to have a look anyways at the Rain at the Raceway event today and then we are also gonna have a deep dive into the daily event. So yeah, this is how it looks like, what I'm going with. There's always one without Rain, so that's why I'm picking this. I'm actually gonna double check that real quick, um, but I think so. Uh, always one, right? One, one... One, one, yeah, and it's always suited for my banana, so I think the banana will go really well there. Then I have this because I simply don't have any standard tires to sh switch it out for, and it feels like it's pretty good still. Then I have the DS number 9, the Citroën Metropolis, and the DS Wild Rubies, and I think this is actually pretty decent. Uh, it definitely will beat Hutch Delia, that's for sure. Okay, so let's be smart about where I put these. So I'm thinking, right, this would go here, here, here. Okay. So this first one, of course, we're facing a bot here, but you still need to be careful where you place your cars, because that's, of course, how other people are going to see your cars. All right, so it's just me and Marty here. Hmm, this might be a little bit boring to record, but yeah, let's see you if Marty... Nope. Okay, Hodge Paul this time. Yeah, Hodge, but but that's not Paul. That was, that was not Paul. That was Jon, right? Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess uh, I guess they just have different names than what their actual names are. I don't know. That's the only. That's the only. Uh, Explanation, or it's a visual bug, because that is for sure John, that is not Paul. Who is Paul even? I don't know. I'm guessing they just have random names in top drives to, you know, be 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 uh, secure, uh, secure of their identities or whatever. But everybody knows John from the top drives show, you know? So, why can't he have his real name, you know? Josie and John and Tim should have their real names. It is John, right? Oh my god, now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. If it's not John, I'm terribly sorry, but I, I know who it is at least. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, fine. That's fine. So the only other guy in this bracket is someone we can easily beat, which feels really good for now, but of course there are gonna be more people in the bracket, probably, most likely. But yeah, this guy has no chance versus me at least, which is nice. So I'm actually not too worried here. Hutch David? <laughs> He's at a rock concert or something. What a mad lad. Um, G-Force test, I guess. That is not going to do very well versus the standard tires on G-Force, though. Um... But yeah, the banana is so important here, I think, for the dry. I think you really want to have a banana there for the dry. If you don't, it might get very hard for you. I think so, at least. Okay, let's go again here. Hutch David again. Wow. Okay. I, 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 guess, I guess that wasn't very eventful. <laughs> I mean, there is quite a long way. Uh, there's quite a long time left until the end of the uh, the end of the event. So of course, having an empty bracket would be something that could happen. You know. Uh, hopefully, we can stay on top. Though I feel really good about my deck now. A lot of people are showing up all of a sudden. Why? Okay, so I can show you this also, since this is just, you know, in the gameplay, in gameplay videos, anything goes, right? I can show you whatever I want, pretty much. This guy is getting his last fuse, and then he will be completed, the Cadillac Escalade. Um, yeah, because uh, in the weekend challenge, I really would have wished that I had him upgraded. And 
if there is at any point a time where I really wish I would have had a car upgraded, that car will surely come in useful some other time. I don't know if it will be a week from now or a year from now, but I want to make sure that, that when that time comes, I am fully prepared and I have done my due du dil do 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 my do my do my do gillians <laughs> i've done my darndest to make sure that i have maxed that car out so yeah uh, here is also the daily event i've only played two tickets because like it was getting really hard uh, and i thought i would lose if i tried again that is honestly the reason so yeah this is what i'm rolling with here I mean, it looks very good, right? But then you have people who are much better than me, of, co of course. Um, in the daily event, you will never be best. Well, unless you have a ridiculous... Of course, someone is always best. But you have to have the most ridiculous carpool if you want to be the best. That is just how it is. And I think everyone is aware of that. Everyone who doesn't come first is aware of that. I mean, the guy in first probably has like four Mustafa Rise and a Max Legendary. That's what I'm going to guess. Because the Mustafa Rise are unrivaled on the twisty stuff. And there's pretty much always four twisty. Maybe we can see his hand. Maybe we can get high enough that we see the top guy's hand. Who knows? Fast circuit. I want to try. I want to try, right? If my... Um, this one beats this one. Is this only one star? No, okay. I thought so. I thought so. That felt a little bit high for the handling of a TVR to have at only one star. Um, okay, so that is a win. That is a win. That is a win. And that is a win. So everything else will win. No matter how this first race goes, everything else will win. Okay, so I barely beat him. The CTR3 is kind of a mech car. What? Well, I, I lost so many races. Did you see that? I had no idea. Okay. We're getting very close to Teemo though. Uh, it looks like it is a Finnish guy on top here. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, right? Here are three beautiful prize cars that I do not own any of them. This one, of course, very important. Isn't there another Bugatti that is also 2000s? Oh my god. And this is another prize car. This is a prize car I have, of course, but I cannot fit it in because it's worse. And this is this is this was what I really was talking about the the uh, super lights and the Ferraris. I think four super lights is probably ideal. Four super lights and then one maxed out Bugatti. I think that is the best. That is probably the best. But as you can see, this is why I wasn't playing all the way because I knew that I would run into guys like this. Now, fortunately, I can beat this guy. Uh, but I will probably not be as fortunate going forward. But we will have a look here. 67 points. Okay. Uh, I think this is a win. Barely. Yeah. Not so barely. Half a second. I thought it was going to be super, super close. It wasn't. One mile drag? Yeah, that is the thing, right? But there's not always a drag. That's the problem. So I, I can't justify putting my CN. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's better. I think it's just better for the one mile drag ones, right? So I don't know. Oh yeah, we do have more tickets, so we can see who is on top here. Let's see, Timo. Yeah, that's the Bugatti I was talking about. So having, I mean, imagine if he had Bugatti, super light, super light, super light, super light. There was there would be nothing anyone could do, you know. This guy has this also. Yeah, that is true. So perhaps the ideal hand would be perhaps even Bugatti, Bugatti, Super Light, Super Light, Pike's Peak. That is what I'm thinking. That is the conclusion I'm drawing. Bugatti, Bugatti, Super Light, Super Light, Pike's Peak. I think that is the best hand. I'm not sure though. There's probably something I'm missing. There always is. Mm, this guy looks too hard. That's too upgraded. He put a fuse on the chassis and on the engine. Otherwise, we could have done this guy because we can win this, we can win this. We just can't win the twisty circuit, I don't think. I mean, we could try, right? We could try. But I have pretty much... 
complete faith that I will fail this. But if it's anything that's gonna do it, it's the Ferrari. So we might as well try, right? He also has a two-star Bugatti here. Which is obviously also a big issue. But if this wins, I think we have a shot. But then it's the long straightaway and he will come back. But not enough i don't think no okay maybe we win this 150 to 100 i i'm not sure about the last uh, slalom test where i beat where i'm versus the porsche with my uh, banana that is the only issue here i don't know if this is a win but i think so but i don't know yeah it is barely barely a win so there we go so i guess i'm second now which will obviously not hold but hey Cool. I'm not gonna play the last one. I think I'm gonna just end it off here. 8 0 now here. Three more people have lost versus me. This is how the bracket looks now. Eight people. I'm gonna get an amazing head start here. And hopefully that will keep me up there. Uh, also, of course, the prelims are ongoing now. I'm gonna wait a little bit because, well, I'm not feeling too comfortable. Uh, I would do something like. Something like. Oh, actually, I might be pretty comfortable. Hmm. I didn't realize the RQ was so low. Perhaps this is good? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that over and maybe I will do a video on it. Or maybe I will join pretty late and then there won't be a video on it. I'm not sure. But yeah. That is going to about do it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. You could also subscribe to Part for Ever Growing Family. We're at 3,000, over 3,100 people. It's absolutely insane. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely hit that subscribe button and you will get videos sent to you. Like I do three to four videos each and every week, sometimes five, six. It depends on the week and how I work, but yeah. Uh, definitely subscribe also my patreon has a lot of perks now like you get a uh, discord uh, uh, noticeability in my public discord server and you also get access to my private discord server if you choose to pay three dollars or more so definitely check that out if you haven't already like it's completely overhauled it's not like it was before it's just a much better patreon uh, with a much better uh, uh, things you can get like if you pay for the three dollars you get to uh, be there when I do the big recordings because I will do that in my private discord uh, yeah and also my top trash related Instagram where I post every single max out is of course always uh, open if you want to go and follow that and my public discord server is for everyone and it's completely free and that is down below in the description as well thank you so much for watching have a nice one until next time guys stay safe have a good one take care of one another and bye bye